Hey guys, before we start the video, make sure to join my Discord server. It's linked on the screen right now. We are having a Nitro giveaway event going on right now, so make sure to join. Shout out to one of my server boosters, Cartoon. His channel will be linked in the description. And shout out to my other server booster, Z. His channel will also be linked in the description. Shout out to Titus on YT for making me this awesome fan art. Um, his channel will be linked in the description. Make sure to go subscribe to him because this is really talented art. And guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe because a lot of you are not subscribed to the channel. So when you subscribe, it helps me make more videos for you guys and it helps out the channel. So first we will be making a keyboard. First you have to make the part. And adjust it to whatever size that you like. To make the keycaps, make a part that is white or whatever color you like. When you're done adjusting the size of each keycap, make sure you copy it by selecting it and clicking Ctrl C and then pasting it multiple times and then just move it down and adjust it to its size and move it to where it's supposed to be. As you can see, mine was pretty rushed, but that's okay. It was just for the tutorial. If you take more time on it, then it will look way better than this. You can even add an outline if you have the time for that. Yes, I will also be linking this model in the description. but tall part. Adjust it to its size that you want, and after that, copy and paste the part and make it a little bit smaller. After adjusting the short part, click the long part that you made and copy it and move it to the side. After that, copy and paste the shorter part and move it to the bottom. Once you've finished making the outside of the vent, then insert a dark gray part and move it and adjust it to where it's diagonally. I set the parts to 0.2 transparency because I just want to see just a little bit just to see how it looks. But the important thing is you have to go to view, properties, and select the gray parts and make sure that can collide is off. And after that you should be done and you should be able to walk through the vent. And if you have any questions on why it's not working for you, then just leave a comment down below.
are working short, make sure you have to insert a small part and make it like so. You can even make it like I did if you want to. Now to get this weird triangular shape for the top of the sword, you have to insert a part called wedge. Finish making the sword, select it and pick a color for each part. When you're done, select all of the parts of the sword and click Union. After that, go to Workspace and make a tool. Rename the tool to Sword. After that, click on your union and name it Handle with a capital H. After that, drag the handle into the sword part. And once you've dragged the handle into the sword part, drag the sword part into the starter pack. Once you've done that, hover over to the Workspace section, click the plus, and add a script. Now go into the script and delete everything including the print part. So make sure you have a blank first line and then paste the script that I'm going to give you in the description and the comments. I made a mistake by not removing the print part. Okay, so when you go to test it, it's going to look weird, something like this, but that's okay, because here's a fix for it. So you're going to see the sword inside of the starter pack, so you're going to want to click the tool that says sword. Then when you go to properties, you're going to see grip position, so you're going to want to click the middle one, the middle number, and then set it to negative 1.5 or negative 2. I set mine to negative 1.5, let's see how it looks. So yeah, that's what happens when it's set at 10 damage. You can always change the damage at any time you want to. So yeah, it works pretty well. I like it.